Let's create a linear approximation for y equals 1 over x centered at x equals 2 and we'll use this linear approximation to estimate 1 over 1.9. There are two things that we need for a linear approximation. We need a point and we need a slope. Our point is 2 comma 1 over 2. To find the slope of this linear approximation, we have to find the derivative of y at x equals 2. Well, y prime, here we have x to the negative 1. The derivative of x to the negative 1 is negative 1 over x squared. And at x equals 2, this is equal to negative 1 over 4. So we have our point and we have our slope. Let's use point slope form to write the equation of this line, which is y minus 1 half is equal to m, which is negative 1 fourth, times x minus 2. Moving everything over, we have our linearization. L of x is equal to 1 half plus negative 1 fourth times x minus 2. Now we can use this linear approximation to approximate 1.9 to the negative 1. Let's plug in 1.9 into L of x. So here we have L of 1.9 is equal to 1 half minus 1 fourth times 1.9 minus 2 is negative 0.1. Now let's see here. Negative 1 fourth is approximately negative 0.25 times negative 0.1 is positive 0.025. 0.5 plus 0 0.025 is 0.525. And so, we have estimated 1 over 1.9 as 0.525. And as it turns out, 1 over 1.9 is actually 0.5263157, so on and so forth. So we're off by about a thousandth here, which is not bad at all. Write the linearization for y equals the cube root of x centered at x equals 8. Use this linearization to approximate the cubed root of 8.1. Well, there are two things that we need for a linearization. We need a point and we need a slope. The point is 8 comma, when you plug in 8 you get 2. So our point is 8 comma 2. To find the slope, we have to find the derivative at x equals 8. Well, if y is equal to x to the 1 third, then y prime is equal to one-third x to the negative two-thirds. This is the same thing as one over three times x to the two-thirds. And at x equals eight, this is equal to one over three times the cubed root of eight is two, squared is four, so this is equal to one over twelve. And so we can now create our linearization by writing our tangent line. y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. Our linearization now, L of x, is equal to 2 plus 1 over 12 times x minus 8. We want to find the approximation of the cube root of 8.1. So let's plug 8.1 into our linearization. L of 8.1 is equal to 2 plus 1 over 12 times 8.1 minus 8. Now 1 over 12 is 0.083 bar and this is times 8.1 minus 8. 
this is 2 plus 8.1 minus 8 is 0.1 times 0 0.083 bar is 0 0.0083 bar. And so we are approximating this by 2.00833. And so this is our estimation for the cube root of 8.1. And as it turns out, the cube root of 8.1 is 2.00830. So this is really close to our actual function value at 8.1. This is it's so cool. I mean, this is really close, and we can do all of this information in our head. That's the coolest part of all of this. Let's use a linear approximation to estimate the square root of 9.3. Well, our function is going to be y equals the square root of x. And we're centering this at some value that's pretty close to 9.3, though we can actually easily take. So let's center this at x equals 9. So here we go. We need a point. Our point is 9 comma. The square root of 9 is 3. We need a slope. Well, we know that y prime is equal to 1 over 2 root x. And at x is equal to 9, this is 1 over 2 times 3 is 1 over 6. We can now create our linearization y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1 which means that our linearization is equal to 3 plus 1 over 6 times x minus 9. And now we're going to plug in 9.3 into our linearization. So L of 9.3 is equal to 3 plus 1 over 6 times 9.3 minus 9 is 0.3. We can rewrite that as 3 over 10 just to simplify matters. 1 over 6 times 3 over 10 is 1 over 20 which is 0 0.05. So this is 3.05 and that is the linearization at 9.3. So this is our approximation for the square root of 9.3. It's approximately 3.05. In actuality, the square root of 9.3 is equal to 3.04959. So again, this is extraordinarily close to our actual value and a very good approximation. And that is the essentials of linear approximations.